Hey, it's Rex on the road, and we're in a castle today. Uh, and uh, it's the castle of love, that's, they tell me. That's correct. <laughs> Uh, it's called Castello di Amorosa. Uh huh. I was, um, I designed most of it. Okay. Um, I, I own 100% of it. Wow. Uh, I uh, initially thought mm -hmm. I'd probably made a big fool out of myself. I mean, who's crazy enough <laughs> to build a, a castle in Napa Valley? Right. And so I, I tried to be really authentic given modern building codes. Sure. And uh, I uh, worked on the design for years and years. Wow. And, uh, and people have responded well. Mm -hmm. um, um, in 2019, we saw over 400,000 visitors wow. to Castello di Amorosa. Wow. And, um, and we uh, sell all of our wine direct to the consumer. Um, no stores, no oh, wow. restaurants. No distribution. Wow. Everything direct, either from people coming in, tasting, and liking our wines, or a website, or and we do also telemarketing. Oh, wow, wow, that's incredible. I just want to say, I want to thank you. You opened it to the public in April 7th, 2007. That's, that's right. my birthday. <laughs> that's my birthday. That was a great birthday present. Thanks so much. All right, we're getting ready to go into the Castle of Love, Castello di Amorosa, and uh, Dario here. Dario Santui uh, is showing us uh, the castle today. This is uh, great. And uh, what did you want to say? You said uh, you had something when, fun. When I was a teenager, uh -huh. I built a doghouse, a rabbit hutch, <laughs> and a chicken coop. Okay. And they weren't very well done. <laughs> <laughs> and then I took on the castle. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's it. Not very good at building dog houses, but he can build a castle. I like it. Uh, stick around. We're going to show you the castle today. It's Rex on the Road. This is the Great Hall right here. Wow. Two and a half years to uh, to do all the frescoes, both on the walls and on the ceilings. All the frescoes are um, from palaces in and around Siena or Florence. Um, so they're all authentic. And... Um, the fireplace is over 500 years old. Mm. Um, we, the Great Hall was always the most prestigious building uh, or room in the built in the castle because this is where the owner showed off his power, sure. his, uh, his luxury, his kingdom. Uh, he adjudicated yeah. uh, disputes here. Mm. They ate here. They had uh, festivities here. So it was, and it was often the only room in the castle that had windows too. Oh wow! But he wanted to make um, the great hall the most luxurious room in the castle. So caves were built by excavating horizontally. We use a Welch uh, auger, a mining auger, and we do 15 feet a day, take out the dirt, wow. and then we gun out the uh, ceiling because uh, it was not um, very stable. And so day after day, we took five months to build these caves. And the cellars are different. The cellars we excavated here we went in horizontally, 15 feet a day. And caves are ideal for uh, for uh, aging wine because it's uh, high humidity. Okay. So you get less evaporation. It's virtually uh, always a constant temperature within a degree or two. 
So ideal aging condition. Okay. We also age wines for Visatui Winery here as well. Over 300 years old. It was called the Virgin of Nuremberg because it was originally invented in Germany and um, or the Iron Maiden. And the idea was of torture was prolonged agony. <laughs> you didn't want to kill somebody right away. You wanted to suffer and suffer for days. Uh, and so what they do, these spikes would puncture people maybe a half inch to an inch. Ouch. And then if you were still alive a week or so later, it light a fire under the Iron Maiden and boil you alive with your main spike. Oh, how fun. This was often for minor infractions. Um, I don't know exactly what, but they hang you outside the castle for a few days and then um, let you out. Or in a dungeon and torture chamber like this, they might put you in it and forget about you until you're dead. Uh, for stretching people, notice the little ticklers here yeah. while you're being stretched. Whoa! And um, so they slowly ratchet and stretch you. The idea was, again, to make you suffer a lot. Um, it seems harmless, but it's not. They put your anus right over this and, and, and gradually this would work its way up into your stomach. And, uh, and if it did, they put sandbags on you to weigh you down and you'd be dead after a lot of suffering. And bikes, and usually they would keep coals under the, the, the chair so that the uh, spikes would be really hot. Hey, it's Rex on the road. We are in the Castle of Love today. As you look around, this is a castle that was uh, built off some of those European medieval castles. Uh, later, we will talk to uh, Dario Satui, who uh, came up with the idea and built a castle in the Napa Valley. Hey, it's Rex on the road, and we are in the Castle of Love here in the Napa Valley. And uh, maybe you've checked out the castle. This is our first time here. It is absolutely tremendous. Uh, and later, we're going to talk to Dario Satui, who came up with the idea to build a castle and spent 15 years doing it. And it debuted on 2007, April 7th. And uh, it's been going ever since. And just look at it. This is a real castle. Not like I'm an expert or anything. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to taste some wine. And it's right here, the Castle of Love in the Napa Valley.